Hello and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to recover your deleted data from your HDD, SSD, etc. Let's go. So, here as you can see, I have one of my SDD drives and it's empty. But here I have three files. It's an image, an important document with important information and a video. That's how it looks. Now we'll copy these files to my empty SSD and somehow, accidentally, I will delete them. So how can we recover them now? To recover deleted files, I will use special software. It's called ESOS Data Recovery Wizard 3. All the links will be in the description. Now click here, free download. Open the file. Here you can choose the language and the installation path. But before the installation begins, you should remember one thing. Do not install this software or copy any files on the disk you want to recover files from. It will decrease chances to recover your data. The app must be installed on any other drive. In my case, this is disk C. Now install the app. Install now and wait until it ends. Now open the app. That's how it looks. Using this app, you can recover up to 2 gigabytes data for free on Windows 11, 10, 8 and Windows 7. I will use the full version. By the way, also it has a Mac version. Now here in the menu, we must find the drive which we want to recover deleted files from. It can be HDDs, SSDs, USB flash drives. In simple terms, it can be any drive, which is connected to your PC, of course. In my case, this is local disk F. So I just select it right here and then click search for lost data. The search speed depends on the capacity of your disk. In my case, I have SSD with 112 gigabytes of capacity. So I think it should be very fast. Okay, great. As you can see, the app has found all deleted files. To recover deleted files, we must select them and then click recover. Once again, you must recover deleted files on any drive except the drive you want to recover deleted files from. For example, let it be my desktop. I click choose folder, then click save, selecting my desktop. And for example, let it be this folder, record files, then press select folder. And now all my deleted files were successfully recovered. Let's open the image, let's open the document and let's open the video. If you have a lot of files to recover, you can use a filter right here. You can sort deleted files by type. For example, you want to recover only pictures or only videos, documents, audio, archives, emails, etc. Also, you can sort deleted files by extension. For example, docx, this is Microsoft Word extension. Also, you can sort files by data and by file size. Also, you can specify location. For example, you want to recover deleted files directly from a recycle bin or from the desktop, or you can manually select a folder. Go next. The app has other features. It's a data recovery from SD card, from NAS and Linux, and from RAID disks. Also, it has partition recovery, and you can create your own recovery USB drive. Let me show how it works. First, you need to connect your USB thumb drive, then select it and click Create. But be careful, because it will erase all your data on the USB drive. If you're okay with it, click Create. Now wait until it ends. Now we must get into the boot menu. In my case, on the MSI motherboards, I need to press F11 button during the startup. And here you must select your Fire USB partition 1. And now, as you can see, we have the same menu like it was in Windows. We can do all actions like we did before and we have access to all disks. This recovery USB thumb drive will be very helpful, for example, in the cases when you can't access Windows. That's how you can easily recover deleted files from your drive. If you're interested, all links will be in the description. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.